become a factor. Celtics sub 500 in the second game of back-to-backs. They need to change that. They have 19 of them this year. Steamsma gets fouled, stays with it, and lays it in. That'll make them breathe a little easier out yes. there. Always nice to hit the first shot, particularly in your first game. Watch the miss. Boy, look at McGee just goes right up over the top of him. Yeah, you gotta block, you gotta go get him first and then let him take you to the boards. Rondo leaves it for Garnett, straightaway jumper. Nope. Offensive board, Steamsma, pierce the three. Garnett can't get the tap, and it's taken down by McGee. McGee is a big kid. Steamsma with the block. He's tied for seventh in the league right now in block shots. Rondo the other way, Ray Allen for three. Got it. I would say Flip has got some issues right now. Flip has flipped out. Following the basket, there was two technical fouls called against the head coach. The only team without a victory so far this year. Here's the block by Steamsma that uh, they felt there should have been a foul on Greg. Changed the shot, but uh, Blatch... Already much more active tonight than last night gets his second field goal. Well, there were four guys on uh, the offensive glass. Steamsman underneath nicely to Garnett. Craig, who came into tonight tied for 272nd in the league in minute, able to track it down. Young gets it in the hands of Wall. Black, good up fake. Blocked by Steamsman. They're gonna love this kid. You gotta love the steamer. <laughs> he doesn't have a goatee, and he's got blonde hair, but he's playing like the guy I played with. Defensive three-second violation results in a technical foul. Watch the block right here yeah, as Blatch gets where he wants to get to. Beautifully. Off this slow start and shortened schedule to get there this year. Need some big notes. Steams my open. <laughs> he keeps playing like that, he's gonna make the all-star team. Ray Allen being chased by Mason Bass comes out, sets a screen. Steamsma back to Ray, gets a good look at a three, and knocks it down. Garnett is a member of the Boston Celtics here tonight, and Kevin Garnett, for one, enjoys playing with the youngster. He's uh, filled the lane in the, in the slot for us. Um, he's definitely a presence in the defensive end and the offensive. You know, here he can hit the outside shot, and he understands what his role is, man. We love Greg. Greg's great for our team. You know, I root for our young guys. Young guys root for us. This is what it is, part of being a Celtic. This is the culture here. KG's thoughts on the contract. Yeah. Think. Ray Allen trying to shake Young. Does. Misses the three. Steams on an offensive board. Celtics with just two second chance points. Washington has 13. Pierce for three. Rondo an offensive board. Garnett to Steamsma. And he'll get to the free throw line. And that's going to get us a timeout. Two minutes, 46 seconds left to go here. First half. Celtics have their hand up and trying to rebuild. Let's check in with Kyle on the Simmons sideline report. Hey, Mike, you know, Celtics captain Paul Pierce is playing in his third straight game after missing the first three because of that heel injury. He's actually wearing a small pad on that right heel. He has an orthotics in his shoe and then also a small pad. He says the heel is not 100 percent. In fact, we can see it out there on the court sometimes, he said, when it's shot. Well, he's a guy that nobody knew about a month ago, and all of a sudden he's becoming a helpful player for the Celtics, particularly in this game. This is what he really does best, block shots. 
And watch this good pass. He's aware of what he's supposed to do. And there again is a block shot. So people don't think that he will be able to do that. And they're shooting it in his face. And he's very quick to leap. And he can leap high. And he's got long arms. Two for three in this first half. Five points, four rebounds, two assists, and a couple of blocks. Pierce looking to go all the way. Lays it down. Steam from a baseline jumper. And that's goal. That's what you need to do. Because Steamsman trying to set a screen. Rondo goes the other way. Back to Greg. Didn't see it coming. Yeah, he he's, will. Not, he's not used to it. <laughs> now he gets it, takes the shot, and knocks it down. He's the guy that said it's McGee is all over the place looking to pen it to stop the pen it with the ball. Rondo has seven assists in the game. The entire Washington team has six. Nice pass. That would be a foul. Well, that's what you want to do to a guy like McGee. The old shot blocker routine. Show him the ball. Watch this. <laughs> I mean, this is a crafty move here. But that kid can jump, can he? Wow. Seven feet and that kind of leap. Yeah, he really does have springs how about this double figures for steam from he's got 10 and he's playing a solid game the only area where he's gotten a little lost is in defending the key down on the box because he lets steams him up knocks it down Well, take a look at uh, the latest guy that's going to help this basketball team of necessity. Right on the baseline. And Greg Steamsma is delivering here in his first start. And they're going to need Steamsma or somebody else, too, to uh, step up. Because... Uh, if uh, Jermaine O'Neal continues to have leg problems, the big guy core has gone down and uh, limited minutes to um, 